Okay, ready to roll for Monday as the betting week comes to an end with week number two of the NFL preseason coming to an end as well with Cleveland visiting Washington. It's a nationally televised game, and I'm going to be free pick and a breakdown on that contest in just a moment, plus a free pick in baseball on your game between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. I have one out to Marco here, and this, of course, is going to be your Monday video report. Good congratulations going out to a couple of handicappers that both cashed in on Sunday for you at huge discounted prices. First of all, Chris Jordan uh, cashed in with his top-rated 1,000 stars Sunday night game of the year. The Braves completing that three-game home sweep of the Oakland A's, and you got it as the half price play of the day. One dollar better is up a little over $3,300 over the past week following Chris and over $7,000 over the past eight weeks. And how about Anthony Red, 75-dime NFL winner, number 11 out of 14 on the uh, Chiefs and Panthers. Uh, of course, he cashed in on that one last night with Carolina getting the job done, and you got it for just $19 as he's now a perfect 2-0 with 75-dime NFL preseason play. So congratulations to both of them, and as I said, you got them both at huge discounted prices. And FYI, Scott Delaney also uh, hit winning day number six out of seven. He cashed in the NFL with preseason winner number three in a row, Denver, in that 34 nothing whitewashing of the 49ers in San Francisco. So props going out to him. Another guy that cashed in yesterday as well was Craig Davis, uh, winning day number six out of seven. He's going for today with a 40 dime release on the Cleveland Washington game, which is bigger. Then the 30-dime play he had yesterday on Carolina and Casey over and bigger than the 30-dime winner he had on, uh, let's see, it was Thursday night with uh, Jacksonville getting the job done against Chicago. Now, let's talk about uh, tonight's contest for you. Uh, let's start in the NFL. Why not? Uh, Washington is currently a two-and-a-half-point favorite at home against the Browns in the 8 o'clock Eastern time kickoff. Wouldn't be surprised, obviously, to see this line go up to three. Uh, listen, the Browns' offensive coordinator is Kyle Shanahan. You know what he was doing the last few years, serving on his father's staff in Washington. Uh, the Browns tonight, of course, are using this game really to make the final determination on whether it's going to be Brian Hoyer, who it should be, or Johnny Manziel uh, going to be their starting quarterback. And consequently, the Browns, what they plan to do here is have their starters play the first half and give both quarterbacks an opportunity to face Washington's first string defense. Just a little hitch in that plan, however, because Jay Gruden, the Washington head coach, only plans to play his starters for about a quarter tonight. So you could have some very interesting first quarter rotations here for both quarterbacks. Uh, as I said, the Browns want to give both uh, Hoyer and Manziel equal opportunity to shine with the first team offense against Washington's first team defense. Now, the Redskins opened up with a um, solid win against New England uh, two Thursdays ago at home. But let's be honest, as I pointed out going into that contest on that day's video report, uh, the Redskins had been totally dominated by the Patriots uh, in group scrimmages uh, the previous uh, three days going into that contest. And because Tom Brady had shredded their defense, Brady didn't even play that night. So, you know, it's bad enough that hardly any of the starters play in the first week of preseason, but when you're not facing Tom Brady, it does make things a little easier. Now, the reason the Redskins are only going to probably play their starters for at least the first quarter tonight and not much more is because they have a short turnaround week. I mean, go for the NFL. They screw you, the customer, the fan, by forcing you to buy tickets to these preseason games. And then they screw some of the players here because what is the need for Washington to be playing Monday night and then a short turnaround playing week number three, the most important game of the preseason, on Saturday against Baltimore. It makes no sense. Now, in the uh, category in terms of the advantages for Washington, I would say that you got to look at the quarterback rotation, RG3, followed by Kirk Cousins, followed by former Browns starting quarterback, Colt McCoy. So you've got depth and you have experience there. On the uh, Browns side, of course, uh, listen, you know, it's all going to come down to how Hoyer and Manziel uh, play out in this particular contest. I think you got to take the Redskins minus the two and a half points in this one. The Browns were, in were offensive, ineffective offensively. How about if we say that in their preseason opener, uh, unable either quarterback to get their team in the end zone and a loss to Detroit 
Again, I think the Redskins are the way to go in this one. Now, in baseball tonight, uh, the Pirates are 120 favorite at home against the Atlanta Braves. You know, just what just happened to the Pirates, right? Three consecutive one-run losses at Washington, part of an 0-5 road trip in which they scored just a total of 18 runs. But now they're back at PNC Park, where they have the best record in the National League at home this season. In fact, they've won 19 of their last 25 at home. Now, here's the interesting part. The Braves, of course, are just off a three-game home sweep of the A's, which was completed last night. Chris Jordan had that big play on him, right? Now, that was a very nice homestand for them. But, uh, and by the way, they won 6 out of 10 on this homestand thanks to that three-game sweep. Their last road trip, 0-8. 0-8. They went to Seattle, lost to the Mariners. Went to San Diego, lost to the Padres. Went to L.A., lost to the Dodgers. Even worse, in those eight games, they scored a total of 18 runs. And now tonight, they open up a 10-game road trip against, again, the team with the best NL record at home this season. That has won 19 of its last 25 at home and is seeking desperately to rebound after a miserable 0-5 road trip of its own. Vance Worley really has pitched incredibly well. I mean, I'm shocked. This is a guy that Minnesota got from Philadelphia a couple years ago. He had some bone chips removed. I mean, he was dreadful for the Twins. You could have had him for a bucket of oats here during the offseason. Pirates took a shot with him. My God, has he pitched well. 2.51 earned run average. Urban Santana has also pitched extremely well. Uh, remember, the Braves basically uh, signed him uh, out of desperation late in spring training. He's done an outstanding job uh, being one of the stalwarts, stalwarts in their uh, rotation, and he's pitched well here of late in his last six starts with a 5-0 record and 2.70 ERA. But again... This comes down to the team that's not scoring runs on the road versus the team that has played exceptionally well at home and is desperately looking for a rebound win. And I think the Pirates are the way to go here today. So Pirates and the Washington Redskins are your two complimentary plays. All your promos and all that good stuff will be available by 2 p.m. Eastern time over on the homepage. Best of luck to you guys, and I will catch you again on Tuesday.